find here, huh? Oh, shelter coming up. Wow, I see it is. So, this is all river brought here and put together into a conglomerate so nice and and wow it's like 10 12 14 meters of layer wow wow wow, wow. So there should be you know, quite a lot of uh, animals here that dig their holes into this stuff because this is pretty easy to work on. Okay, so let's see what we can find. Just gorgeous. You take the bulb of the root out. There are a lot of saponins inside, so with them you can make like crude artificial soap. Don't don't ingest. It's very bitter, very unpleasant taste. <laughs> you you won't be able to get it out. Surf uh, 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 USA. these guys so natural shelter already made okay don't smoke bad for you <laughs> check it out Ah, looks like a nice living room here. There's layers and layers of this stuff. Badgers digging here. Wow. This goes on and on. This is what I call a natural shelter. <laughs> perfect. Just perfect. A little bit of leaves inside and you put branches up here to just cover it up and you just leave a little hole so you can just squeeze in. Uh, and that's it. You basically don't need anything else. It's a little bit moist but you know Oh, a little fire here and wow, it will be perfect. <clears throat> All right, uh, local youngsters been camping up here. 
I'm indulging. Oh, very nice. Yeah, a, a little bit untidy, but. Go upstairs. Take it out. I don't know. Ooh. Perfect spot. Wow. Can you see this? Did you know that the water is drinkable? Well, this one needs a very pure water source. I just need something to put on the floor. This is pretty hard. Uh, but yeah, this is it. Root.
Uh, the nature in the fall really takes care of us and gives us insulation. Uh, in the form of all the foliage, all the leaves that are falling down. Um, if you have a tarp, it doesn't matter if they're if they're wet or not. You know, you just put the tarp on. This is just for the coziness and insulation from the ground. So uh, you have to really make a big, big pile uh, because it gets compacted. So the okay. layer when you're laying on it should be at least three centimeters to one and a quarter inch or maybe twice that much. Uh, but basically this is it, you know, this is the comfortness, coziness. Uh, if you have a big, big, big pile of dry leaves, you know, you can just dive into and even with a cheap sleeping bag, of a summer sleeping bag or for sure for a free season sleeping bag, you can sleep like a king in a pile of leaves. I'm using my tarp today uh, because before I saw that when it's moisture it just seeps through and uh, you know I don't want to be wet in the morning or during the night woken up uh, with totally wet uh, sleeping bag and you know it's, it's uncomfortable so I'll just put a layer of my tarp under on the bottom put uh, my sleeping bag over and just cover it up uh, and this will be my improvised shelter. Perfect, guys. Yeah, man, gorgeous view. Gorgeous view. So then, you know, in the night, you just cover yourself up and you're good to go. Okay. Let's do some. Nice swimming before we hit hit the sleeping bag. <laughs> then a little campfire here and you know some pile of stones or logs to to bounce the heat back in and you know, it's it's for perfect for tonight. Okay, so the water temperature is between 6 and 7 Celsius. Oh, come on. Yeah, fucking okay, nice it. So the, the air temp is roughly the same. It's around 8, 9. So let's do a quick dip and, you know, then slowly go to bed. Couple of tips, uh, get your towel ready uh, or something else that you'll dry with, uh, get your clothes ready so when you get out you dry yourself up and put on dry clothes so uh, you get warm up pretty quickly because the circulation will get going and when you go into the water you know just go in slowly, don't jump, you know just breathe 
and you know think of something else except the pain uh, it, only the shock the cold shock only lasts about 30 40 seconds after that your body relaxes adapts to the cold a little bit and you will be able to breathe it so just uh, feel your lungs to the max and just good deep shallow breaths so you keep the inside warm fast also with the air and you know well basically that's that's it uh, usually the first time you get in you know it's just in and out and then you just prolong it a little bit so you go after I don't know a couple of minutes that's enough depends on your body type my my body doesn't like cold too much and uh, I don't have a lot of body fat so I must be gentle with myself <laughs> see ya So, air temperature is even cooler than I thought, it's 4 degrees centigrade. So the water is actually <laughs> warmer than the air. Nice. Just, just gorgeous, just gorgeous. So guys, I'm extremely lucky. Uh, so just over there. I got in for a swim and here uh, it's a wild cherry so wild cherry bark it's usually a little bit not so full of oils as birch bark but burns very good so today I'll make an easy fire uh, with my fire steel and you know for tomorrow I'll do like a bow drill something a little bit harder so yeah uh, even if you don't have a knife, you can peel this off. Just use a little bit of uh, just a little hard branch and just stick it in and chuck it goes out. So if you don't have a knife, you know, you can use your keys or improvise. Uh, and just get the, the bark off. I'll just punch it eventually it will break out now let loose or you can use a sharp stick and Wow, I'm really lucky. So, just here, I got some very dry spruce. 
it's a great kindling material and well guys I'm I'm really lucky you know survival my ass you know nature provides you just have to you know just have to I don't know nature provides so you just have to relax and really relax enjoy and have faith that you know the higher power will take care of you uh, but you know don't push your luck <laughs> you know what I mean so if you're new to farm making first you have to get everything ready you know before your light to first spark or make first uh, amber uh, with friction fire so you know the big chunks the big logs tinder and you know something to start the fire with so we'll use this cherry bark and we'll just scrape it The more you have it, the bigger flame you'll have. Okay. Right. Make little stripes and we'll just add to the fire when it bursts. Spark. Let's do it. There we go. Go finally.
Perfect.